Hi Aquarius, we're doing a star spread. You're the star. Ninth house, Mercury, and Gemini. Okay. There's a whole bunch of new information coming to you. You could be learning something new even. There's ideas about travel, communication, distance, all this kind of stuff. You're going to have a lot of new ideas, new information, new energies coming your way. It's almost like a stir or a very excited kind of vibe. So who's coming in? So this is the person in your energy or who you're dealing with. Who's the person that Aquarius is dealing with? A psychic? You're dealing with a psychic or this person, your psychic? Who's Aquarius dealing with? You could be a reader single why is this coming in like that though someone's like fixated on you but they're quiet they're watching you they're yeah oh here it is on the bottom see i was feeling that admirer attraction suitor and butterfly someone has the hots for you well damn okay let's see what's going on so this person has the hots for you. They really like you. They're keeping an eye on you. It's kind of creepy just yet. I don't know. Let's see how this works. Like, I just feel like something's a little, a little much, I want to say. It doesn't have to be. It just feels that way for some reason. It feels kind of like, like very fixated, I want to say. Okay. It's almost like if you feel like you're being watched, you are. That's the answer. Or if you feel like this person does like you, they do. It's like they see you and they think they can fill a void in your life. It's like, oh, let me see what Aquarius likes, what they don't like, and try to be that energy for them. Or fill that void. Kind of, yeah, there's lovers here. Are you dealing with somebody else? <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm going to put the cards face down today. I almost flipped it. There I go. I almost pulled another card here. I'm going to take a peek. Okay, Knight of Cups noted. King of Swords is you. This is about you, 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 you. Maybe you're dealing with another Aquarius. I feel like I'm going to put this here. Um, What's behind that? Yeah. What is this? Sounds a little interesting. Yours? Yeah, this feels mysterious. Someone else's reading felt mysterious too, and I don't remember who that was. It happens when you do so many readings back to back. You know, it becomes a blur at times. But the tower, that's your first card up. Okay. Damn. Those crashing right into your experience. Is that what this is today? Let me see what this is. Yeah, Mars. The 10th house. Sagittarius Mars? Oh, damn. Okay. I don't know how you know this person. Because it's kind of like quiet kind of creeping around trying to test the waters you know and this right here is talking about either someone getting fired or broken up with so how is that fitting into this reading just yet oh let me see how does aquarius know this person or what's the vibe between them currently and pull a different deck really quick eight of cups so you left this alone you left this person alone is pisces sagittarius energy or you left this pisces sagittarius person alone Okay, you're trying to hold boundaries with a person, judgment. Yeah, you made some sort of judgment call or this person did. There's, um, you don't trust them. You're skeptical. You're skeptical of a person. You're wondering why they pretend to support you or you wonder if they, like you have haters around, like they pretend they're your friend and stuff like that. So maybe you already suspected that somebody felt a certain way. You have someone around you, Aquarius, in general, that could be sabotaging your life or they try to. And this could be someone close to you or close to someone that you're dealing with. So I feel like you're mindful of this. What's this right here? High Priestess is a Pisces. 
psychic energy again. Someone's a reader or like a psychic could be. Maybe they have visions. Okay. They've got some of the clairs, multiple clairs maybe with the Ten of Cups. Hella Pisces energy. So maybe you have Pisces in your placements. You could because you're very close to Pisces. Maybe you have been very close to a Pisces in the past. Let me see who this is with the tower. What is that? Oh, two cards coming out. Yeah, Pisces and we got some Scorpio. Hmm. And there's that Ten of Cups again. Okay. Leo. This is a lot of heavy energy they're coming in with. This person's all major arcana coming in trying to make a statement or something. So we'll see how this goes. But so far, it's looking like this person is watching something go down. I don't know if they're involved in that. So you got to take it however that fits with you. But this person's talking about a breakup, a dissolution, something happening, causing an ending. And it looks like this person's watching. Like the whole reading since we started feels like that. Like they feel like they're observing. Like this is a person observing a dynamic. Maybe they're watching someone get fired or doing something to hope they get fired or they're, maybe they're watching someone break up or doing something to hope someone breaks up. Do you know what I mean? That's what this, oh my gosh, please. So you got the second house. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mercury and, and Aquarius. This person's stuck on you. Did you know that? This person's very stuck on you. So they're hoping to change the dynamic with you. They're hoping that something else happens so that you guys can flourish so far. So let's see. Yep. Two of cups. So who are you dealing with? They feel like you're dealing with somebody or this is with them. Well, let me see. Where are they in this right here? Oh, they miss you. Okay. This person feels like you could be coming together with another person or you're dealing with other energies in your life. Even if it's not romantic, they see you with the two of cups. This person feels like you're their partner. You're their person. They really idolize you. They're fixated on you. They're watching you. This person is, has this very strong like desire. So I remember I just did a reading for you yesterday, actually talking about deception. This could be the deception that somebody likes you, that somebody has feelings for you. And they're swarming around, okay? However that fits for you. Let me see those two of cups. Damn, these lights really hurt my eyes. I'm telling you. And then people say, it's too dark. Well, I have to see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, gosh. The two of cups. Yeah, the two of cups again and the high priestess. Four of swords backside, eight of swords. This person feels like you're trying to heal a relationship in your life or you're sticking with somebody over here. Or you're trying to come together with a person, but they feel like it's supposed to be with them. Regardless of what you've got going on in your life, this person is over here thinking about you and them working together. And they're hitting a brick wall at this point. It looks like there's a muted energy. So yeah, not a whole lot of speaking. You're probably not even talking to this person. There, It looks like there is communication that's going to be coming in. Like someone wants to communicate something. But so far, they're like observing you, which is kind of like, why, right? Like, let it be known. Make yourself known. <laughs> Hold on. Where is Aquarius actually in the energy? Let me see. I feel like I need to get my blue light glasses. Uh, where is Aquarius actually in the energy? The strength and the two of wands. And there you are. So you're making a choice about a relationship. Oh, damn. You're very set on that. You got the judgment. Absolutely. Seven of Wands. You're trying to protect your space. You're trying to protect your choices and decisions. You're in charge of your life right now. You're taking charge. You're not letting anybody push you around, boss you around. If anything, you're the one who's going to implement boundaries here. You're the one who's going to be in charge. You're the one who's going to be telling people no and back up and all this stuff. I see you making moves here. Okay. There's someone that you're trying to change a dynamic with or change a relationship with. It looks like you're very serious about your investments or you're very serious about your future. You could be investing, for example. Okay. I see you doing that. You look like Leo energy or very confident. It's coming in that way. So 
What's going on here? Hmm? Why they see Aquarius eight, eight of Cups? Oh, yeah, lovers. They want to return to you, this person. They want to connect with you. Give me a roll on Aquarius. Yeah, you got Leo. I told you you look like a Leo, but you got Leo, uh, Jupiter in the 12th house. This is called spiritual protection to me right now. You are uh, showing up on the astral plane very bright. So this could be like a spiritual upgrade for you, for example, or your gifts are heightening. But I also feel like you're confident about keeping separation from someone. I'm hearing got to keep them separated. <laughs> Yeah, maybe somebody's trying to keep people separated. Is it you? Look at this person with their freaking strength coming in. I'm hearing get alive. Okay, look at you two cups here again. Yeah, the six. What's going on? What's this person? You're trying to separate from this Leo, or something's going on with you and a Leo. And it doesn't have to be a Leo per se, because they're the person in the reading is coming up as like a water sign. So I don't know. So show me this. Why this person is in this um, strength? Because of the back of the. Okay, that makes sense. Six of Cups backside and the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the back of the King of Cups. Let me get a roll on this. Fifth house, Neptune, and Libra. Hmm. Yeah, again, this feels like weird. I don't know. One more right here. What's this that they're doing? Right. Okay. So the four of the pentacles. Yeah. See, the thing is, this person is trying to pull their energy away at this time. It could be that they're trying to formulate a plan. It looks like it to me. They're not really taking action. If anything, they feel like they have lost with you or it's a lost cause. Someone is trying to see straight. They want to see if they're just envisioning things or they're imagining things or something about also physical activity with one another. Like, I feel like this person is either highly attracted to you or that's what they're thinking about is like doing it. Okay. Um, tell me one on this three of pentacles. Yeah, see, because they're trying to, like, talk to you, but not right now. This keeps coming up in the readings. I don't know why. Like, everybody's like, oh, I need to say something, and I'm not. Okay, well, what? why are you in the reading then? Right? Like, why is this person coming in the reading? Someone, this person feels like if they stay where they are and they give up power, they give up control, that it'll work in their favor. Like, they're playing the long game or something. It's like they're laying back, like, laying low. Okay. They need to think clearly and they know that. Like this person feels like they're trying to get clarity, but it's like they're imagining things. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't know. It could be because they're here like imagining you, envisioning you, or they're wondering, why am I so attracted in this way? Why do I feel so attracted? You may have already told this person to back up. Okay, that could be why. That could be why they're acting like that. Yeah. Damn, temperance, I'm telling you. Someone's trying to get close to you. It's this person, of course. This person trying to get close to you. What's this temperance? Back of the hermit, the crab, the cancer. Uh, chariot, backside, and the lovers. There's too many people in this reading is what it feels like to me. See the two of cups, damn, and the justice. Here it goes. Here goes that freaking tower. See, the thing is they feel like they're going to pull away for a while and it's, it's going to create some sort of a breakthrough with you. 
it's like causing an ending or hoping an ending happens and waiting to see what happens after that. Like if you're going to come to them, you're going to run toward them. If you're going to want to be with them, they feel like, damn, this person's going to try to like fight for a relationship, but it's kind of scheming. I want to say like the person like schemes a lot or they feel like, yeah. It's trying to play chess. Do you know what I'm saying? Like someone feels like everybody's a chess piece here so they can get to you so that they could get what they want. And they're hoping that because they're not playing the game right now. They feel like you're playing the game with somebody else and they're hoping that you guys are going to knock each other out of the situation so that they could come in. Damn. Why does this reading have to be so specific like that? All right. Anyway, let me get a roll on this. Third house, Mars and Aries. Yeah. It's like they're hoping that you're going to realize you actually care about them or you love them or you're attracted to them too. This is an established love, by the way. So I don't know what kind of connection this is because it looks like you guys are not talking. But this person is talking about you guys actually have really strong feelings for one another and hoping that, you know, something will change or maybe that you'll run into each other. Or you guys will communicate or something. But they're over here trying to mind their own P's and Q's. They're trying to mind their own business over here. Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands. Yeah. So the thing is, Five of Swords, Backside, and the Empress, you are not putting energy toward this. They know that. This is a person talking about you not doing anything toward this. You're not talking to them. You're not putting any energy toward this. That this is the reason it's going to be difficult to create a change. Now, in other news, they may feel that there's a fire sign around that they're not happy with. If they're not the fire sign. Like this person's upset about a fire sign or something. It's Leo Sagittarius all over this reading. This person appears to be waiting for you to be in the clear so that and willing to talk to them so you guys could be together. This is what it is over and over in this reading. It's like, okay, what's this? Yeah, you're not talking to them. But they're hoping that you're going to feel it for them, the Five of Swords again. Wow. Someone's crazy. Like maybe you feel like they're crazy or they think that you're crazy. So the back of the Aquarius energy, like someone is so fixated. They could have a mental illness or emotional illness. Please talk to a professional. That's a disclaimer. I'm not diagnosing anybody here, but that's what they're saying. They feel like someone is off their rocker or someone is like they need some type of help. This could be a personality disorder, for example. Like this is what they're talking about. Like you really don't get it because of this or that. It could be them. I don't know. I don't know who's in here that they're talking about like this. Maybe this is how you feel about them. Whatever the case, they're talking about that. This person is highly fixated. Tell me what this is, please. Yeah. They're having difficulty accepting what is right now. And someone's going a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over it, for real. Someone's going a little, yeah. So here's a seven of wands. What's that? Four of cups. They still want to be able to pressure or like come in with an offer, even if it's not like they, they know it's a missed opportunity right now or something's not working. It's Leo energy all over this right here. Ten of wands. Three of swords. Aquarius. Five of swords. Wow. What do they think Aquarius is doing? Please tell me that. 
What do they think Aquarius? Yeah, the two. I thought so. That's why I asked that. Six of Cups. The Chariot. The Queen of Cups. They feel like you're dealing with a water sign. Seven of Swords. They feel like you keep going back to the past or a past person, a past scenario or someone here. And where are they in this? Because this feels like extra energies. I just. Yeah, see, they're competing with someone that you're dealing with, Aquarius. That's what they think they're doing. I don't know. You, look, okay. Something is a little off in this reading. They don't like your partner. If this is romantic, they're competing with them. If this is not romantic, this person in your life, maybe this is a family or a friend, friend or something. They don't like your person and you know that and they cause issues or they try to. Okay. Like, I don't know. You have someone seeing you go off and do something else, but they're like hoping that you're going to end up with them or come to them or either return to them or whatever the case is. Okay. So, yeah, um, they feel like they can convince you to, like, stay or be with them or something, but you don't want to. You actually want to be with someone else or you want to be dealing with someone else. They may even want you to believe that they're doing something with someone else, too. I don't think they are. Whoever this is is stuck on you. It's like they're leading you to believe something else. Something's up in this reading for real. You guys use your discernment. I'm just saying. What? Gosh. What's the Christ actually got going on? Let's see again. Two of Swords. Temperance. Damn, you're happy, you're fine. Like someone's causing a disruption in your home life. Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone's caught, yeah, five of swords. Someone is jealous of your relationship, your home, how you're living your life, how peaceful you are, how calm you are, the changes that you're making. They hate that about you or they hate your situation. So they're going to come and try to cause a problem. This reminds me now of a reading from, I think it's two readings back. It's something about someone's trying to F with you or really test you or something like yeah Aquarius this person's going to try to test you that's what this reading is this is who this person is from that reading that's what it feels like all right anyway gosh so someone's going to try to cause disruptions just saying maybe that's why that reading was talking about deception like someone's lying not telling the truth or whatever that's because someone's trying to create a scenario to cause an issue some people are just not right. Okay, well, thank you, Aquarius. Feel free to check out the poisons. I'll see you next time.